G'day you good motherfuckers, the Butts Barn here and Peter, the people for the ethical treatment of animals, the whinging, bitching, annoying, screaming vegans that you see all over the globe have finally gone too far. They have done something that strikes fear into every single man that has ever lived. These domestic terrorists are making demands that is putting the world into disarray. People are freaking out. Gentlemen all over the world are signing up for Pornhub because they are demanding. They're, they're making women say no to sex unless the man is a vegan. If you are a man who eats meat, no more sex for you. It's just like the soup Nazi in Seinfeld, no soup for you. Except in this case, it's a really skinny woman who screams about her fucking underarm hair and how that's saving the planet. These are the terrorists we're dealing with. Peter, people for the ethical treatment of cows and animals and shit, right? They, they don't give a shit about cockroaches, but well, whatever has come up with a new idea to convince men to switch to being vegan. This is madness. And I just want to point out that if you are someone who would stop eating meat and go vegan just because you're having sex taken away from you, you are a man. That is a manly thing to do because we will do anything. We'll fight the wars. We'll go and work 40, 50, 60 hour weeks just to put food on the table, just in the hope that you ladies, right? I'm talking about you. You will pay attention to us and maybe give us a cheeky little wristy, am I right? Men are fucking desperate is my point. We will drive hours just to get a Tinder route. We don't give a shit. So yeah, we'll probably give up meat for a root, right? If you know what a root means, a root means sex. In Australia, it's Australian slang. If you're from America and you don't get that, fucking write it down now. It's a great word. We need this. We need sex, right? That's why we spend all day working hard, extending the wage gap, just so we might get a little bit of a, just a touch and a smile. And you're gonna take it away? These people are fucking terrorists. I'm gonna call them Broccoli Kaida. No, Al Broccoli Alfalfa Kaida. Sort of works. Let me know your great pun to do with a terrorist organization down below. And you might be saying, even if you don't get sex eyes out, you can always masturbate. Will you try jerking off with these disgusting hands? Real men have hands with calluses and it's fucking covered in psoriasis and there's Bloody contact dermatitis, it's like fucking a little hole on a brick. That's what it's like. It feels awful. But I imagine women don't give a shit at all about this because they don't need sex. Ladies, you have all the dildos that your heart can desire. You can have, you got six dildos coming off the edge of a fucking super dildo and they're all spinning around doing the fucking Macarena. You've got everything to help you fucking get to the point of high enjoyment. Us men, we've got to deal with these crusty little demons and you get all this special equipment until the day that we won't be shamed for buying a blowjob 6000 with 14 different speeds in a self-lubricating system? Until we don't get shamed for that, you shut your fucking mouth. According to the Telegraph, Peter said the sex strike could, and I quote, help save the world and, I quote again, end toxic masculinity. Okay. I don't think Peter understands men. Because if you want to end toxic masculinity and save the world, taking sex away from men is the worst thing that you could do. I guarantee you, if you banned sex between meat-eating men and women, you would have nuclear war on your hands within about 32 hours. Without freaking in the sheets, they'll be fighting on the streets. You mark my word. This is why Vladimir Putin is bringing in conscription right now, because he can't get it up, and without him being able to get it up, he just wants to fucking fight. As for toxic masculinity and ending that, hey Peter, shove it up your fucking ass. Toxic masculinity got us through the ice age and it'll get us through the age of this bullshit, you fucking twats. Go and jump in a nice warm bed made out of fake wool and cuddle up to your spinach. You love spinach that much, you may as well be Popeye. But, but not normal Popeye looking jacked. Popeye if he went through the Holocaust. And how dare Peter? come out and say anything about toxic masculinity. I can only imagine the type of masculine men you have in the Peter office. They just ooze soy. Ooze! Like Augustus Gloop and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Do you throw your employees in a big fucking Olympic sized swimming pool of soy milk, you fucking cock smokers? And then they're just running around with their little fat puffy neck. <laughs> what am I talking about? I, <laughs> I wrote down little fat puffy nipples. What does that mean? What I'm saying is if you're a soy boy, you got little fat puffy nipples. 
That's a good sign. Go to the merch store and grab that. No soy boys. Suck us off. The Telegraph went on to say the call for the sex strife on carnivorous males has caused outrage in Germany, which is famous for its love of sausages and World War II and World War I. That is one of the greatest sentences, no doubt, in the history of journalism. To write there that an animal rights group is banning sex for men and you're upset because Germany loves sausages. Like, how many degrees did it take you to come up with that classic? Like, how many people sat around in the office and thought to themselves, this is the line that's going to win me a fucking Walkley? The German branch of PETA pointed to research last year from PLOS One, a scientific journal, which showed men cause 41% more pollution than women because they eat more meat. Okay, maybe because they're 41% larger than women, so they eat more, like, everything, right? Does that make sense? That makes sense. Go me. PETA said that such toxic masculinity required enforced Chastity, which is a great band name, and even a ban on having children. Every child not born would save 58.6 tons of CO2 every year. That's right. If you've got a child, you're part of the problem. I just like to say, and Elon Musk has pointed this out several times, one of the biggest threats to our modern civilization is the dramatic drop in people having it you know, four or five kids as they used to back in the Diz, eh? Which means because we're going to have an aging population, by the time I'm an old piece of shit, there's going to be no one there to work the jobs. There's going to be no one there to create wealth, to make money, to feed us fucking old pieces of shit, which is a problem. So yeah, keep having kids. In layman's terms, we're all going to be working till we're 100 years old and living our lives off broccolini. A fate worse than death. Daniel Cox, nice name, cockhead, of Peter, Germany. Peter, Germany. Hello, nice to meet you. Said as he's accused dads of proving their manhood through conspicuous meat consumption. Fuck off, Coxie, you fucking idiot. Proving their manhood. Like what, eating? Is this back to the eating the sausages that look like dicks? You Germans are weird. To make matters worse... Nice sausage pun, you fucking losers. Peter also called for a hefty meat tax of 41% for men to save the planet from global warming emissions caused by agriculture. I'll pay a meat tax when you pay a fucking almond tax, you wankers. I, I cannot read this fucking Telegraph article. I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm going to go back to the better form of journalism here, uni lad. Holy shit. In Germany, a bratwurst seller... Why are we interviewing sausage sellers? Told the newspaper... I'm speechless. Doesn't sound like you are. Completely shocked by this statement. I sell bratwurst professionally and more women than men come to me. <laughs> what? Why are you talk? Why are we interviewing sausage sellers? All right, this is my message to Peter. Get your fucking quills out, you c**t. Women are more than just sex objects for men. You misogynistic pieces of shit. They have a whole lot more to offer than just a hole. There's like four holes. Duh. You know what, there is also that conspiracy that PETA is run by the meat industry. And as time goes on, I start to think that that's probably more and more likely. Like they make vegans and animal rights activists sound absolutely insane with the shit that they come out about. Look at these stories that are popping on your screen right now. These are real articles from people, spokespeople from PETA. Looking at these, I genuinely think that it's the meat industry fucking with vegans and making them sound so ridiculous that no one would ever take anything they said with a grain of salt or a ball of couscous, whatever you want to use. And let me just end my little note to Peter with this. If eating meat is toxic masculinity, then let's make toxic masculinity great again, ladies and gentlemen. It's fucking delicious. And if a vegan doesn't want to fuck you, why would you want to stick your dick in a bag of bones anyway, Jeffrey Dahmer? And as for the meat-eating ladies who are watching this video or saw this article and think that's so silly, remember, okay? A dairy-free cream pie is not as good as a meat pie. I don't know what that means either. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks. Come and see me live in Sydney on the 6th of October. And then I'm heading off to Perth after that as well. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks. Too good, love, 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 love.